ça, oui. Mm, 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 mm. So I don't know what's in the thing. Okay. Mm. There we go, I think. God damn, I'm dragging my What up, folks? Okay, there, I think that is good. God, it's been a while since I've been live, huh? It's a good one. <clears throat> it's a warm day today. Hello, Tom. Hello. How's it going, folks? I feel like it's been ages. Many, many, many moons does my... Spinner work. How's it going? Team and T fan, thank you for the likes, folk. Thank you, thank you. Who is Eastman? Uh, it's Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Hello! Uh, Kevin Eastman is the co creator of the Team and T along with Peter Laird. So that's why they do the Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles branding. Even though, if you want to get like real into it, technically it's not anymore. Well, thank you. I'm glad. I I enjoy them, too. <laughs> Took, I feel like I got this figure later than, like, anybody. Because, like, Best Buy had it available, and I did, like, the in-store pickup, but then they didn't have it for me, so I had to wait, like, an extra week. Which, you know, still, still pretty early compared to others, but, you know, Tiny Turt Official. Have you always had official in your name, Tiny Turt? Has that always been a thing? How's it going? What's crack a lacking? Always happy to see you go live. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, um this past week with work I've been I've been training some new folks that that started, so it's been harder to work around the schedule because I'm like on the hook required to like talk to them constantly. But yeah, should should we get into this this bad boy? Mikey as the Wanderer. We got some new Kevin Eastman does do the art for the packaging, which is dope. This is number 12 in the series. Open it now. I think I have the whole series except for Casey. Some awesome shots there. Got Savanti Romero. The Foot Enforcer and some ninjas. You waited a week. Um, well, I didn't. I didn't. Yes, Alien, Homeless Alien. I I didn't wait a week. Um, like I ordered it, so I tried to get it as soon as possible, like last Thursday, and then Best Buy just didn't have it. Um, so I had to wait for Best Buy to get it in stock. Planning on getting the last Ronin Raph. Me too. I like all the last Ronin figures. So I'm gonna get all of them. So here we go. I'm gonna crack this baby open. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yours broke? Oh no. That sucks. It always it always sucks when these figures break because they're so so damn expensive. Okay. Okay, here's the box, here's our standard Mirage background, used to be Leonardo Leader in blue, so I changed it to Tiny Turt Official. Are there a lot of like, hey bunny, are there a lot, who's the Wanderer? The Wanderer is Mikey. In the comics, Mikey is like, he's like, you don't find out until the end, but the comic starts out, it's like this lone turtle going through this adventure. And at the end, you realize it was just Mikey doing, like, a fan fiction story. Um, way shorter. Wait to get a card for my birthday. Yeah, I mean, that's the benefit to being, like, an adult. You can just you can just spend all your money on shit like this. So, it is NECA, so there are a ton of ties. The, the last Ronin is really good. Yeah, this these ones are from, like, the original comics back in the day. So, it's not connected to the whole Ronin thing at all. Yeah, like, the last figures I did, we did, like, the Yolo Park, we did, uh, 
uh, loyal subjects, and so I haven't. He just fell out. I haven't done ties for a while, so it's like, what is? What are all these ties? So here is our boy. He's got the burlap. Yeah, Mirage. So it's the Mirage Comics line. It's like issue seventeen, I believe. Um, which ones came out? Ooh, it's a little. Have you seen the first ever turtle drawing which painted Michelangelo? Yes. Yes. Do you have the Mirage 4-pack? Yes, I do. And that's basically what this is. Um, so, yeah. He has his, his burlap outfit. Different, like, wraps. So, it's a very cool figure. No bandana. This is, like, $37. Tiny Turk got the bootlegs. Bootlegs are dope. Waiting a month. No good. Did you see what happened to Plastic Flashbacks, Wanderer? Yes. Lucky for me, it would seem... They glued mine on correctly. I've seen some plastic flashback follow him. They glued his on upside down. <laughs> Which, unfortunate. But yeah, lots of great detail. This one, it's it's kind of like a Ronin style figure. Is it just me or does anyone else like the shorter turtles? I like shorty turtles because in the comics they're short. In the comics they're like four feet tall max. You should put Raphael's hood from the Mirage Pack on him. It'd look cool. You can, but you have to take these out. Does it feel like Usagi? Um, I don't have Usagi, but there is... Like, there's a texture to it, you can see. The last Ronin come out, I thought it was Leo. What's up, deep in the house? It's been a while. So if you want, and I'll get the Mirage Turtles out in a, in a bit, but if you're familiar with those, it's the same articulation. Pretty good arm. They made it so his arms pop out easy. It's using the same body style, so that didn't break. It's meant to pop out easy because they just they reuse it. Though the one thing that's helpful is like this this thigh or bicep cut. You gotta kind of wiggle it. Get the get the juices flowing. Him no not tag me. Thoughts on mutant mayhem. Mutant mayhem is fantastic. It's out digital now, isn't it? I believe. You got the double jointed elbows. See, look, people give loyal subjects a lot of shit for their joints, but how is that not like a terrible joint? Like, what is, you know, you know? Anyways. Can he do the splits? That's the turtle test. Almost doing the splits. He's got the tail, the turtly tail. I love the non shredder movie. Uh oh. Are you going to stream the last Ronin game when it comes out? Yes, absolutely. Tiny Turt is mad at flashbacks right now because I had been asking for him to show all his Leos. <laughs> it's it's funny because people make requests and comments and it just... Videos take a while. So yeah, his legs are double jointed, though... You guys like that creaking? It's like a Barbie elbow. True. Can I join the live? No. I don't know about the whole live joining thing. I'm very... <laughs> uh what is it self-centered it's it's not that it's just maybe maybe i'll ponder it but then the feet standard feet cool little thing on the head look he looks up really good he tagged everyone who barely started asking it, it's sometimes it's it's just hard to re to remember that shit you know so look at his scarred face What's up, Trixart? How's it going? How's the move going? Okay, let's get that going. So yeah, it's good so far. Or was it loyal? Um, the loyal subject? Sorry, I'm missing something. Typical NECA. This is NECA. Right here, should we get, get the spin going? Ooh, you guys missed the spin. What was your first figure that blew up on TikTok? It was uh, Frank and Raph. Cody, get all your fingers out. Always out by default. The creaks, yeah, they're... It's a very creaky... Creaky figure. Not a... Not necessarily bad creaking, but he's a creaker. Okay, 
So let's go to accessories time. Do I collect any other brands? Oh shit. Um, here and there, but um, I mean, I, I collect pretty much anything turtles. Let me... God damn it. There we go. How much money have you spent on TMNT? Oh, a lot. A lot. Easily, probably. I'm sure I've cracked a thousand by now. You know? Just. Shit's expensive. Play the DLC? Is that the Loyal Subjects one? No, this is, this is NECA. This is good old. You can't, you know, let's do... Maybe we'll do, we'll do like a, a cursing the heavens kind of pose. Let's do that. If we can. Why the fuck? I swear to God, like, the spinner is fucking lopsided. Do you prefer the turtles to all be the same species? I like different species. I liked when they did it in Rives. Rise of the Team and T. Fuck, that, he just fell right the fuck off. I don't know. I'm sure it's a mix of both. Sign your figure? That would be interesting. God, okay, that should be tilted back enough that he doesn't fall. Good God. The Loyal Subjects ones really excite me, but I don't know if I should buy them. I would I would highly recommend them. I like the same species, so it feels like they're more like brothers. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know. They they mutate together, so that's as brothery as it needs to get. You know? Cause like, you know, I don't know. The the brothers the brothers aspect. I don't, I don't necessarily need them to be, like, literal brothers. But the, the loyal subjects, I do think, are very much worth it. And the normal ones... Sorry, I'm just getting all the crap out. Um, the normal ones are only, like, $21, so that's not bad. Do you have the Triceratops figure from the Raj line? Yes, I do have Zog. Okay, Jesus. I think we have, I think we finally have all the stuff. So my, this one, he comes with a lot of weapons. He comes with his chucks and these are rope. Do you hate Mona for what she did to Raph? No. Do you have the first what time right now? The first what time? I don't, I don't know what that means. Where's his pants at? He's a turtle. He doesn't need pants. You know, so he has, he has the two, the reach out and grab your hands. He has two holdy hands. Oh, fuck. I just, man, if, if I had a nickel for everything I've done. Do you have the first Ninja Turtles? My bad for misspelling. Oh, no, that like the, the one that Mondo released. Thank you for sharing the live. Would you recommend a cheap but good Team and T figure? I mean, probably playmates the mutant mayhem figures this is NECA's the wanderer mikey the wanderer so we've got those he's got kind of like a, a bladed bow staff if you if you think of it that way he's got two swords what is that in front of him he he ha well what do you mean you know, has weapons, a peg. So he's got the two swords, Mikey the Foot Slayer, and they can go in the scabbard like so, nice and easy. I do like like the white blade. I think the white is a cool, cool look. And then. My most expensive toy? I mean, technically, something like, um... The Super 7, uh, Party Wagon, which is coming out at some point. So he has some kind of... I don't know what this is called. 
my oldest Ninja Turtle figure. I mean, I have I have ones from like the original Playmates line. So I'm, I'm sure I have. Ooh, the hands come out super easy. Which is, which is nice, I guess. It's a sickle. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's I, that's true. But is it a true sickle? I don't know. Do I like Spider Man? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I like Spider Man. I'd buy Spider Man figures. It's just. Figures are so expensive. The more you buy, the more you run out of money. So I kind of focus just on turtle stuff. So here he is, like reaching for his blades, right? It's a comma. See, that makes sense. Next Mutation was the last live-action idea Peter and Kevin had. Yeah, though they weren't necessarily so involved in that. But, you know, technically true. Uh, my swords are a little loose. The fuck? Interesting. But yeah, that's cool as hell. Is he gonna stand... Show the collection, man. What is your job? I just have like a, a desk job, work from home. Got any 2007 Ninja Turtles? Technically I have one. I have like a a carded raft. You need an ASMR channel? That would be cool. So yeah, you can, you can make him be a little Leo if you want, or put that in there. He can be some Mikey. Though he doesn't come with a sigh, so you can't you can't do like a true last Ronin kind of thing. Which is kind of a shame. Right? How much was that? $36.99. Do I have the Revolt Tech figures? No, sadly no. Those would have been cool. I just I wasn't collecting Revolt Tech at the time. So he's not real in the comics? No, it's just it's just Mikey's like fantasy story that he does. What sucks is there's only storage for the so the swords. So if you want them to like hold all the weapons. Bro, I just ate a taco and now I'm in the toilet, you know? That's the That's the choice you made. You know, don't if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. I'm pretty good, Mark. Marcus, how are you? Let's see. Here he is, kind of bow staff in it. Kind of like 2012 Donnie, with like the blade at the end. I guess it's kind of like a spear or something. I don't know, I don't know name. Show us your favorite figure. I need to open mine. What's up, AZ Toy Hunters Guild? Follow him, folks. He, he finds a lot of the good stuff way before I do. I'm always pretty jealous. Tony, what's up? See, I like... This is pretty dope. And I'll show you. Let me get Raph. So it really is the same body as the the Lawson Turtles, as they say, the Mirage 4-pack. Thank you. Thank you so much for the roses. Do you ever get the G.I. Joe Classified series? No, but I'm tempted. Um, I used to have, like, the G.I. Joe Extremes as a kid. You know, anybody anybody familiar with G.I. Joe Extreme? What version are those called? So this is NECA. These ones, like, this RAF is part of, the like, the Mirage 4-pack. People call them the Lawson Turtles because it's based on, like, Jim Lawson's art. Right? So if we put him on there instead. People like, see, if you look at, like, the burlap, it's, it's not quite the same color burlap, but it's close enough. But the issue is... You can't you can't put it on because of the because of the scabbards, you know. What people have been doing 
is like the scabbard either it's not glued on there and it just pops out what are you hoping drops for fall geek out wolfman raf and uh leo is the creature hooked on super seven it's been a while since i got super seven i have I ordered, like, the Rat King wave. It's a shame they pushed it back. I like that Rat King design. But, yeah, I have a, I have a ton of Super 7. Yeah, so you really can't... Unless you unless you rip these out, you can't, you can't really put the hood on him. Is that a Shredder monster? I mean, I do have... I can show you some of my other Mirage stuff. Look, here's here's these two. Let's get Zog. Someone was asking about Zog before. Look how huge freaking Zog is. Let's 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 do some rotating with Zog. If we even can. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Zog's a beast. Do I have Bebop? I have the Super 7 Bebop, actually. I don't have... My, my NECA figures... I don't have any, like, the Toon line, except for Splinter and, um... Like, the, the Baxter Fly. But yeah, Zog is dope. Like, the, the Mirage line, I almost have all of it. I think I just need Casey, but they're releasing a red shirt Casey soon, so I'm gonna go with that. No, these are NECA. These are the NECA bad boys. This one was part of... I forget what it was. But it was something. There was some release. Some geek out. God, my Zog's covered in dust. Do you have the 2012 Turtles? I do have a lot of 2012 Turtles. Zog is just, he's such a beastie boy. What's up, Plastic Flashback? The dreaded Holothon. Yeah, it was Holothon. Yeah, this was like the only figure I got from Holothon, really, was Zog. How do you get these? Um, from Target. Um, AliExpress. I buy a lot of stuff from AliExpress. Favorite turtle, Mikey. Mikey's the best turtle. Always will be. Always has been. I mean, Mikey's just got it all. So you can, like, if you wanted to, you can swap the heads. But as you'll see, not the same body color, which kind of, I don't know, it kind of doesn't... I don't think it actually looks too bad, really. Like, you can't... Do you like the new movie, How They Might Mikey? Yeah. I think the new movie's fantastic. I saw it twice in theaters. Yeah, so the color... Unfortunately, the color a bit off. But I don't think it's it's necessarily too crazy. Don't you think if you look at it and if you just don't spend too much time looking at all of it, it kind of still works. What's up? Wow, that's a name. <laughs> <laughs> so that <laughs> that's awesome um what figures are these these are NECA these are NECA future Donnie is really cool in the comics and so you can see like again the colored head I don't know I kind of don't think it looks too bad actually I don't like I'm, I'm not too much of a stickler for it being exact And so look at that. This is like a really, like, effed up raft. And you could take a picture and, like, you could mess with the lighting. I just wonder her had straps. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, Zog. Zog has, like, real actual straps. God, just look how crazy Zog is. Like, he takes up the whole camera. The little turtles in the background. Do you have the live-action movie figures from the 90s? I have... Uh, I have the two movie figures and three. You have Mikey as the last Ronin turtle. Yes, I do have. I do have all the last Ronin figures that have been put out so far. Let's 
Leatherhead, yeah. Leatherhead is bigger than Zog? No way, no way. Zog is so huge, I can't imagine. But if so, that's dope. Favorite villain? Probably Slash. Show your favorite Ronin, man. Hold on, hold on. Look, so that's that's Raph, like, talking to Zog. Like, whoa, buddy. Easy there. Can't really tell. Just got a new passport photo. Right on. I got this. So this one I got from Best Buy, actually. Because Best Buy is in the figure game now. So my other favorite last Ronin figure, also from Best Buy, coincidentally enough, is the Sinja Bot, man. Look at the Sinja Bot. The Sinja Bot's freaking cool. Yeah, it's exclusive. The The Wanderer is exclusive to Best Buy for now, but I'm sure it'll go everywhere else soon. I do have I have a bunch of the 2012 Turtles. I just I've never opened them. What are your my so sick my most expensive one? If you oh god, if you look, do you see in the background there? The Gundam Leo. That's the most expensive one, probably, cuz I paid it's like 175. You know, I don't know. Every can I ask a question? Why is everyone so into like the expensive stuff? I sobbed the ending to the last Ronin in class too. I mean, everyone, everyone knows you're a softie now. Your your reputation may never recover. Devastating. See, look, he's, he's telling Zog to, like, put it down, buddy. Put it down. Always have been. I mean, if it makes you feel better, I was just... I was watching... I've been seeing a lot of Forrest Gump TikToks, and one of those was making me cry, so, you know. Do I have the 2008 Mirage figures? I have the bootlegs. So I have, like, a bootleg raft. So if you want a tail of two rafts, with the blue toes, apparently Tiny Turt is telling me he just got some bootlegs that don't have blue toes. Which is kind of a hallmark of bootlegs, they don't paint the toes. I don't know why, they're like, fuck toes. But yeah, I do like, I do like different, um different looks they painted the blue toes on yours no shit he has a third leg it's a tail man turtles have tails so it works skill issue because i do I, I forgot what i was even replying to your favorite leo figure mecha leo there's there's never going to be a better leo than mecha leo look at his toes yeah, it's the bootlegs. I do have the original box set. I've just never opened it. I got it for, when NECA sold it. I got it for forty bucks. So I have the four pack. You got the girl Ninja Turtle. Um, do they have any girl turtle figures? I thought NECA version had blue on it. No, the the NECA one it's it's like green all around. So the blue toes is a hallmark of the bootlegs. I mean, amongst other things, it's like very dark and like the his like wrappings are much less brown than they should be. Don't look like a tail. I mean, it's, I don't know what you think tails look like. I think it looks very tail-esque. Last Ronin. Man, I, I gotta tell you, my figures all feel kind of loose. Like, I guess it's just too fucking hot here. It's like, it's like I heated up all my figures. Me after eating Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell for a long time. Honestly, what's what's your deal? Like, why is everyone so weak with Taco Bell? Comments like that are why they remove the tails. Yeah, I mean, I guess. And this one, like, slopes back more. But I think the tails are cool. I like, I've always liked the turtle tails. I think they're rad. 
Can you see the Rocky Road Mountains? <laughs> yeah, I actually can. I don't know if people haven't seen real turtles because they complain about the necks and the tails. They sure do. Look, I put I put the head on backwards. Oh no. Oh no, Raph. This guy. I've been meaning to look at better, uh, a bigger rotation stand. So look, so there's that raft. Let's do all rafts. So there's a there's a next uh, new mayhem raft. Um, the girl troll Venus? No, I don't, I don't have that Venus figure. That would be cool, though. His neck? Yeah, I mean, they just, they have a long neck, and the bootleg, not necessarily as smooth as, like, the official one. What company is the tail one? Here, let me... So, look, this is Playmates. This is the Mutant Mayhem Raph. I, I, I expertly painted this one can i show some 2012 figures yeah in a little bit um what's the spinner thing for figures it's amazon has like a shit ton of them um live luff live live god that's fucking me up live laugh love wrath that's a hard fucking one to say live laugh love wrath if you look up like turnstile or whatever like display turnstile they have a ton of them can you do mikey next could. So yeah, this is new at Mayhem Raff. We have Bootleg Raff, which pretty good. You know, I mean, I don't necessarily mind the blue toes. You could easily just like paint them green yourself. We have kind of like the second version Mirage Raff. Yeah, rotating display stand. I would advise get a bigger one. This one's like four inches. Are the bootlegs worth it? Totally. The bootlegs are totally worth it. And then this is Loyal Subjects graph. Can I see my suspension graph? What is suspension graph? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm just I'm just checking out the figures. Technically I opened Mikey as the Wanderer. This is what I was literally doing. I thought the live was supposed to be out the Wanderer. I mean, it is, but it's about everything. And I've wandered around. Oh, fucking got him. Long neck Raph is happy. I wanted the new Neck of Mirage comic turtles, but they sold out. Um, yeah, they're they're kind of a pain in the ass to get. That's for sure. I do have the Batman versus Team and T figures actually. I need to finish doing videos on them. I've gotten kind of lazy, frankly. You got Samurai Turtles? I did get the Samurai Turtles. That's true. 150 is not worth it. I mean... You know, what is worth it? There's a spider crawling. Yeah, probably, probably want to stop that, unless you're into it. Favorite Team and T figure line? Um, why Long Raft got three legs? It's a, I mean, you could misconstrue that about a lot of things, but how could you misconstrue it about three legs, you know? I got the Batman vs. Team and Figures off of eBay. They don't sell them in, they don't sell them in stores anymore. So you have to just go the aftermarket. So eBay or, you know, other sellers. Do you have a huge Raft? A huge Raph? I mean, technically, I have Franken Raph. Would probably be the hugest Raph. Why so serious? Yeah, the Batman Team of T figures were GameStop exclusive, and so if you didn't buy them there, now it's just everybody selling them secondhand. Rest of the monster figures? Yeah, I mean, AliExpress is a good place to get a lot of those, or Target. Can you do 2012 Ninja Turtles? So I'll show you. Like, I can, but it, it's not going to be the same. 
because Can I flip it. I have them. I still have them, have them on the card. You know, so like I have a bunch of them on the pegs. I just I never opened them. So they're dope. Like I have the monsters. Sprite Cranberry. Shave the beard. How dare you? How dare you, sir? So I, yeah, I have a ton. My favorite ones are probably the monster ones. I think those are dope. You can see if there's there's like Mikey's Batman. Where's Donatello? Uh, I mean, right there. There's a Donnie. There's a Donnie. But that's that's probably my favorite Leo figure and probably one of my favorite figures ever. Invisible Dan Man Donnie. I do like the Yolo Park stuff, though. Those are fucking cool. He wasn't in the card. Oh, it's because I took him out. So I have like the display rack and then I have I have Donnie there because I was looking at him. How much are most of them? So like playmates are like 10 bucks. Loyal subjects are 20, 21. NECAs are like 37. This Leo, this Leo is 175 shipped generally, depending where you get it. And there's some more Mirage. I have, there's Batman. Do you think you have over 100 individual turtles? Probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting them when they come out. So the next up is Mikey to come out. And then I have, look, I have Movie Leo. I have a Loyal Subjects Casty. Who's who's familiar with Body Count? And there's, there's Mirage Mikey. NECA is good, but I don't think it should be over 25 bucks for one figure. Uh, maybe. I mean, all things considered, for the detail NECA does, they have a pretty good price, you know? Um, I think in the back, there's Mirage Donnie in the shadows. And I have, like, do you have anime figures? How much money do you pay for the new movie figures? They're, like, 10 bucks each. You know? So there's Splinter. There's Rocksteady. I painted Rebop. Rebop. I painted Rebop. That's funny. Um, I, paint, <laughs> I painted Rocksteady a little bit. They have really good detail, but my King Kong NECA figure broke. Do you have Ray Filet? I do have a Super 7 Ray Filet. But I have him in the box now. So there's Samurai Leo. But yeah, NECA figures... Look, who wanted the last Ronin? There you go. NECA figures are great, but yeah, they're not like, uh, they're not super sturdy. But to be fair, most figures aren't. Like, they're, they're still all cheap plastic, no matter, no matter what you do. Got my Ultimate Shredder from NECA for 50. That's, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, price, I mean, cheaper would be better. Look at this. This was a custom rise. From the Cult of Colin Stein, like a Rise Summer Donatello bust. Titanium. Yeah, I'm going to keep buying them too, but I, bought, I buy all kinds. So I have Loyal Subjects. I got Playmates. Look, that one has a tail too. All the best turtles have tails. Which figure was your first? It was not this one, but it was some, it was one of the Playmates ones. If you had to choose one figure to keep and the rest get destroyed, which would you keep? I'm keeping Hunchback Leo for life. Hunchback Leo is the greatest figure of all time. Hello, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Maybe Donnie disagrees with that and he thinks he's number one. But, you know, Mummy Mikey, pretty good. Hello, Beats by Shroot Farms. <laughs> Did you watch Team and T as a kid? Yeah. Worst figure? You better not be saying that about um freaking Hunchback Leo. He has 
He has facial hair for God's sakes. Shredder NECA for 25 bucks. That's a good one. So here are... We got Lucas. We got Hopper with a bat. We got Dustin in the background. Where's the rest of them? Power Ranger Shredder? No, but I'm constantly tempted to get that one. Constantly. Yeah, if you don't look, 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 look. If you don't like Hunchback Leo, then you need to reevaluate your whole life. The OG Mirage Comics Turtles from NECA? Yeah, they're cool. Uh, but your best bet now is bootlegs. Look, here's some Super 7. That's a regular Donnie with, with Raph's coat on. Do you have the last Ronin figure? Yes. Do you have the Leo with three toes and the green shell? Three toes? What's three toe Leo? Oh, are you talking about like 2012? Do you have the Jazzwares Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> no. I do I do have the best action turtles. The Jazzwares Jimmy Neutron. Do you have a monkey? Uh no, but I've been thinking of getting the Monkey D. Luffy figure. Because I've been I've been reading One Piece and that shit rocks. So I might get some. I have some photos of the moon. Who likes the moon? I do have Transformers toys. Look over there. You see? You see him? You see Optimus? Was there a Batman Ninja Turtle? Yes. What brand are the Stranger Things figures? They are Playmates. So, yeah, I kind of want to get a Luffy figure. So there's there's my Mirage Leo. That's the bootleg. You should get photos of the Rocky Road Mountain. My favorite non-turtle figure, maybe something like this, like Veteran William. Like Shredder, look at, like... Shredder's having a bad day, you know? He's gonna get... I don't think they have any Jenica figures yet. I do have the best action figures. I'll swing back to those. But you can see, like, I have a best action Shredder. No Revolt Tech, sadly. Um, I, I missed the boat on Revolt Tech. War Duke? War Duke is pretty great. Do you work tomorrow? Nope. These are probably some of my favorite turtles ever. No, bootlegs and, and Tiny Turt can vouch for that. The bootlegs are, are fucking incredible. Like, the bootlegs are absolutely worth it. Do you have anything Fallout? Ooh, I do have... I have some of the Pip-Boy bobbleheads, but not easily accessible for now so there's a super seven shredder no honestly you can get all four of them for like 40 bucks get the bootlegs there, there's no reason not to get the bootlegs here are the stranger things turtles like look at them look at the little look at the little scene i've built up you know the turtles are like whoa and 11 is like doing some her her you know her powers, but yeah, the bootlegs, they're, they're killer. Yep. The bootlegs, they're incredible. Totally worth it. Don't pay more than like 50 bucks for them. You got any of those pretty cartoon girls? I mean, Renette is pretty. Some Renette action, anybody? But yeah, the bootlegs. I do have the last Ronin figure, so there's the boxes. Right? There's the last Ronin box. The Furay Planet. Yeah, Furay Planet is killer. I need to do a video on the tiger. On the Blade Master. But yeah, I even have wrestling turtles. Japanese pretty cartoon girls. Um, I, <laughs> at that point, no, I don't really have Japanese pretty cartoon girls. <laughs> favorite, favorite team and T series is going to be, um, 2012. Small Soldiers? No, but Small Soldiers is a dope movie. 
That would be cool. But the best Team NT series is the 2012 one. Little little Anton Zek going on. Look, so this isn't Team NT. Like, there's my movie three figures in there. Do I have Team NT WE? I have way. I have series two. The wrestling turtles. Um, yeah, I can show them a little bit. I mean, they're still in the box. I mean, I unboxed them, but I put them back in for storage. Um, I don't think they released the figures from that that episode, actually. I think the figure line ended by then. But yeah, apparently Ultimate Warrior was a huge asshole. You know? Apparently he was a jerk. But Donnie, look how cool. I love turtles with hair. You give turtles hair, and they're dope. Do you have the mini ones that can spin on their shells? Um, fuck. Now I can't get it back on the hook. We have Mikey as Rowdy Roddy Piper. Why did I think Donnie was Mikey for a sec? I mean, it's kind of it's it's kind of a very Mikey look. But look at him. These figures are really cool. They're big too. Not crazy big, but Raph is Sting. Yeah, so I only have this wave. I need to get wave two or wave one. That would be cool. No Power Rangers turtles, sadly. I would love to get those, but I've, I've held off so far. And then we have Finn Balor. Fuck, that one's tucked in there, but you can see the majesty of Finn Balor. They're super cool. They're, they're super fun. The Mondo turtles. Ooh, the Mondo turtles are cool. I, lo I love me some Mondo Turtles. Grimsword? Look at that shit. It's kind of... The light's all fucked, but... Grimsword is cool. Power Rangers on the Walmart app. There's the box for Casey. And so I have... Like, here's... Here's Best Action Bebop. Pretty dope. How much were the WWE Turtles? These were on eBay... <sighs> I think I got them as like a set for, I don't know, probably like a hundred or something. I remember I had Raphael with his motorcycle and his black helmet. Do you have that one? I don't think so. So I have this guy. That's my street style Raph. Just the box though. 2007 movie turtles. At one point... God, let me... I used to have four of them, but I gave them to, like, my nephew. Look, and if, if someone's upset about the Wanderer, let's just take a moment and look at the Wanderer. There's the Wanderer, wandering. The ones where you can switch them to babies. I do have some of the mutating ones. Here is one of the best turtles ever. Jurassic Park stuff? No, not really. There's there's the Batman versus Team and T Leonardo figure. That's dope. And then I have I have some more tucked in there. Yeah, I think the Wanderer is a super cool figure, and like all the stuff he comes with is super neat, right? Do you have Master Splitter? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have that little Mirage Splinter. Samurai 3. Those ones are good. And then I have that Splinter. And then I have that Splinter. Do you have the brown 1986 Donatello? Probably, but I think he's all busted up. Favorite Team and T figure? There can be only one. The Highlander of Turtles. The Wanderer is Michelangelo. I just put him. I just put him next to Raph just for funsies. It's not Raph. What about? Nope. Don't have that one. Maybe someday. More Casey action figures. I don't have a lot of Casey. I have like that Casey. 
all gnarly, and I have I have the best action, Casey. Almost got him. Almost. You were close. What were we going to look at? I forgot what we were going to look at over here. Oh, the 2007 one. There's the 2007 one. Are the NECA bootlegs worth the money? Of course. 100%. Extremely worth the money. Just don't pay for... Just don't pay more than like $50. Because you can get them on AliExpress for like 40 Where's April? Um... I mean, I have the bride. April is the bride in the background. Right there. Yeah, 70 is a ripoff. Just buy them from AliExpress. There's another April. PS1 games worth money? <laughs> I mean, I have some. I don't know if they're worth money. Can we see 2012? Yeah. So there's a bunch there. There's like the Foot Lieutenant, not 2012, but there's 2012 Shredder. Do you have Krang? Uh, one of these is the Krang, I think. What do we got there? There's the Squirrelanoids. Really, folks, let's let's not do that. How about um? <laughs> There's Baxter Stockman. There's a Sven Gulli poster. A figure you want, but will probably never get. Um, <sighs> Raphael as the Metaluma mutant. Someone was asking about the brown skin, Donnie. I have the reissue. The reissue is pretty dope. Can I buy from you? No. Do I have the Night Watcher? No. That's the only. That's the only 2007 figure I have. It's the only one. <laughs> Can I see Baxter? Yeah, the only Baxter I have is cool. Look at that guy. That's <laughs> He's just so chill. He's so chill in his robo suit. Where's Foot Clan Soldier? I mean, I do have... <sighs> If you look in here, as I dig around in all the shit, we do have here. What am I showing? There we go. Where did you get all this, the 2012 figs? I got them back in 2012 from the store. <laughs> I got I got them at Walmart when they originally released. Um, so yeah, this is my Super 7 Foot Soldier. Pretty cool. Bunch of hair on it. That's cool. That's That makes it rare. It's the rare hair variant. I need to, like, clean. I have a cat, so that's why. But this figure's very loose. Like, his legs... I don't know if you can even tell as, like, I'm trying to stand it, but his legs are super loose. But there's that. A flock? Yeah, it's, it's basically flocked. That's correct. See, there's the hair. <laughs> and then I have, like, Super 7 Baxter. You can see in there Super 7 Bebop. Do you know what a Pez is? Of course I know what a Pez is, man. Come on. I don't have any Team and T Pez dispensers, though. Yeah, the rare hair. I'll sell this one for $700 for the hair. I mean, Pez as a candy is okay. Look, there's the Fure Planet Hunter Crocker. And then behind him, we got Muckman. How much is my whole collection worth? I don't know. I don't really collect for money. I just like having stuff. I've tried to organize some of the accessories. So look. Invisible Donnie. Leo's Flames. What would you do if my cat destroyed my Mecha Leo? She wouldn't do that. She's super chill. I took the head off my Pez and put it on Marvel Legends and it fits. That's actually pretty cool. I do have some, like, any any Bucky O'Hare fans? If it would focus on him. Bucky O'Hare. Look, how I organize my accessories. Go to Walmart. I don't, Or if you have a Walmart, go to a store that has, like, shit like this. It's like a fishing tackle box. 
This is like $4. Do I have Team and T bed sheets? No. I have a blanket. I have a Team and T blanket for my cat. But so go to Walmart, buy one of these. It's like a tackle box. Right? And it has all these compartments that you can like put in and out. Do you have any Mutant Mayhem stuff? Yeah, I believe I have all the Mutant Mayhem figures. Except for April. Because April hasn't come out. I have a Team T blanket from 2012. Yeah, like I have I have that blanket from the 2007 movie. My cat likes it. No revolt tech. No revolt tech. Yeah, and my cat doesn't really fuck with anything anymore, so it's all safe. Again, the wanderer. Got a raft. I just joined. Can I see the bootleg team in T? There's there's bootleg Raph. So let's see the cat. Nah, she's hiding somewhere. Do you have any team and T costumes? Um, kind of. So look, there's bootleg Raph. So hold on. Do I have Super Seven Turtles? I do have. I have a few Super Seven, and I, I ha, but I ha, I put a bunch of them in boxes. Yeah, the cat. No, she, she's off somewhere. But another time you could. So here, hold on one second. Let me put this there. God. Is that Super 7 Leo good? Um, I love Super 7, frankly. Are they worth the price? Um, not sure about that, but Super 7 is fantastic, I think. God, so I have... Technically, I do have this from when I was a kid. Very sexy. Is the tail on your bootlegs also posable? Too many goddamn comments. Um, the bootleg tail. Let's see. Do you have wing nut? Uh, yeah. There's a wing nut. You merely adopted the goofiness. I was born in it. Molded by it. I was very proud of that, by the way. Although this is sweaty as fuck. Um, the bootleg tail? What is your full comment? Fuck. Can you change the direction? Yeah. Yes, I can. So yeah, I'm gonna say that's a yes. How good is the Beast Boy Build-A-Figure, in my opinion? Come on, turtle... It's a regular tail, folks. What do you... Do you have Lord Dreg? No, I wish I did. That would be rad. Beast Boy... So I, I have the whole Beast Boy wave. <sighs> the Mirage bootlegs are fantastic. I can't... I can't recommend them enough. Oh, God. Last Ronin figure? Yeah, there's Last Ronin. Oh, God, my, my headset. Anyone who says the tail looks weird shall get muted. But yeah, the Beast Boy figure, I think, is freaking awesome. Um, Is it worth getting the whole wave? I don't know, but I really do like the rest of the wave, too. I think Arsenal has, like, goofy... The goofy face thing, not sure about that. But like Raven, Donna Troy, Nightwing is pretty dope. I have the McFarlane Doom Marauder. I have some old school Ninja Turtles. Can you tell me if they're good ones? I mean, I guess. But yeah, definitely Beast Boy, one of my favorite figures. Where do you get the bootleg Mirage figures? AliExpress. Yeah, that Raven is dope. She's got like the flame hands. 
Come on. Super dope. Highly recommend. I got, I think I got it from Amazon for like 80 bucks for the whole wave. And then I built them, so. I need to dust. I want to buy some of the old Ninja Turtles, but they're so expensive. Yeah, that's why you get reissues. So Playmate, this is a reissue. In the modern era. Raven, kinda. Do you have a figure of my dad? Yeah, this is your dad. Here's... <laughs> the biggest Team and T figure I got, probably... Probably Mecha Leo if we're doing by liter if we're doing very literal. But yeah, here's Pops. Lucky for you, you have the coolest dad ever. You know. Can we see your 2012 figures? Yeah, I mean the problem is like I have them, but they're on the pegs, which is nice, but they're not necessarily easy to like flip through. So look, look at that. No one fourth turtles. No, I don't have the one fourth scale. Do I have any Krang? Um, so I have the Super Seven Krang, though I I put him in his box, I think. But look, there's there's the Super Seven Krang. No two thousand three turtles, other than technically. I do have the the Mutate and Leonardo from two thousand three. Do you want to say and sell any team at 2012? No. I'm going to be buried with all of this, actually. Favorite figure? Father Leo. Cody's number one supporter. Do you have the ones from 2014, 2016? No, don't have those. I don't really like the... The... Do you buy figures? Constantly. Um, all the time. <laughs> Yeah, 5K Toys. Yeah, this Leo. I can't wait for the Donatello and like the Splinter coming out soon. But that Samurai Leo is super dope. I I've already seen the I've seen Mutant Mayhem like twice. So hyped for Donnie. Yeah, Donnie's dope. This is such a cool figure. It's gonna be rad. Do you have the ripped up Ninja Turtles? No, I don't have the Yamaguchi Turtles. What are the ripped up turtles? I don't know what the ripped up turtles mean. So we have Frank and Don. I'm a sucker. Except for the rat. Yeah, I have all of them except for April, I think. I thought you said I was going to get your collection once you die. I mean, technically, I mean, you could you could dig up my grave. My oldest team NT toy. Hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily have them out because they're uncarded. Do you have the battle shell? No. Ooh, there's Mutagen Man. Looking. Walmarts and Targets. Yeah, I mean, Walmart has a ton of good stuff these days. Do you have the soccer player turtle? No. I don't have soccer raft, no. But yeah, it's the Krang. I have a few German 2012. Those are my favorites. That's rad. Yeah, at one point I tried to collect the whole 2012 series. So I think I have all of the first wave. So I do I do have a bunch. Spider bites. Look at them. I'm the number one. I mean, it's it's not a contest, you know. It's all fun, folks. We have Donnie. So yeah, there's some rise action. It is. I mean, I, I guess if you if you want. Dog pound. I want to get. I'd like to get Razor. The Dream Beavers and a couple of variants. Yeah, like um, I kind of stopped the season two stuff. But it would be awesome to keep going. Um, it's just super expensive, right? Like it just gets, it gets real expensive real quick is the downside to it. If you make merch, I would buy all of it. But yeah, I mean, that would be interesting, right? These are from, these are mock masters. You can't really tell 
on the plastic a little bit, but Mock Masters, so MOC Masters on their website. My tr son tried to build the army of the Squirrelinoid, so you have 10. That's rad. Do you have a Slash figure? Um, I have Super 7 Slash. I have, like, the Toon Best Action Slash. So there's Vampire Wrath. He's kind of got... I keep thinking, like, it's basically, like, Eddie Murphy, right? That's like an Eddie Murphy hair. That's what I'm going to go with. Got some snake weed going on. Then we got Samurai Mikey. Um, uh, my least favorite figure? I don't know, I kind of love all my figures. Or else, if I don't like a figure, I just don't get it. I do have the Batman vs. T, TMNT ones. Uh, no TMNT vs. Street Fighter. 70%, 75% carded. Yeah, I mean, it gets, they just get so expensive to try and track down. But yeah, I, bu I bought these when they originally came out. So, that metalhead's dope. Mondo Gecko? Um, no. I mean, I have the original somewhere. But I love this, I love this Turbo Pork art. Do I have Leatherhead? I actually do. There's, there's old Leatherhead. Yellow as fuck. Don't keep him in the sun, folks. Don't let sun touch your figures. Armagon? Uh, Armagon is so good. My favorite figure, I mean, it's a draw, kind of a draw, but some guy's dad, they did, they did Leonardo as some guy's dad. He was actually in the, the TikTok, but yeah, someone come get your father. <laughs> yeah, that Raph is rad. There's Surfer Mikey. Yeah, they were going to do, like, an Ice Cream Kitty figure, but they canceled it. I do have some Hasbro stuff. Who's the? Where's the Hasbro lovers? Let's see a wide-angle view of this room. I mean, you can't really do... There's not a lot of camera options on TikTok Live, actually. You, you pretty much have no camera controls. NECA Mutagen Tour? No. Those would be cool, though. Here's my Super 7 Reaction Ray Filet. If I could get a full wave of figures from any show, I would get uh, the Metal Mutants TMNT. Do you have Cavaxis? No. Yesterday Pardon was a bit angry. Yeah. Uh, he was... He was fighting in the trenches. <laughs> Good movie. No G.I. Joe classified. I consider this a Marvel Legend. This is essentially Marvel Legends. I have the Dungeons and Dragons figures only. We got Raph as Judge Dredd. Not Beach Coleman Mike, that's pretty cool. Love Angry Pardon, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. That that was fun. I get it though. I get it. There's that. Yeah, it's Turbo Pork. So the same guy, the same guy I'll show you who does this art. Turbo Pork, you can just follow him on Instagram and get custom prints from him. So look, he signed it. So good. Um, I, I don't have a Usagi. Favorite Shredder? My favorite Shredder is actually going to be the best action Shredder. Ooh, God. That they're coming out with the IDW line, I think is going to be dope. Take care, unnecessary name. Also, Carzillas. Let's let's give it up for Carzillas. Those were freaking cool. There is that. Yeah, I mean that that's that wall pretty comprehensive. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Back to the spinning. Anybody? Anybody miss the spin? Favorite Shredder is the first Gokin one. That one's cool. The Arcade Turtles do look pretty cool, too. Look at all those rafts. 
figure you regret spending money on? Um, not really any of them, because I pretty much only buy... I only buy the stuff I like, really. So if I don't like it, I just don't buy it. A 1991 Worm. Yeah, 2012 figures. I just showed a bunch, but you can see them there, kind of. Just laying back. Uh oh. The Wanderer is going to fall. Raft just fell. Our feet are fucked. Do you have the turtle popcorn bucket? No. I pre ordered like the ooze canister popcorn thing. What's up, unknown? What's crack a lacking? There's the Wanderer. I don't know, I also think his head is darker than his, his own body, frankly. I was going to put, I think what I was going to do is I'm going to put Zog on here. Look at that. Just look how, look at that pair. You started collecting mint on card figures from that series? Yeah, I think it's a dope series, 2012. The Wanderer, there's the Wanderer. You have any TMT comics? Yeah, I have. Like, here's like the IDW series. I have all the, like the IDW stuff. There's an original Triceraton. You're about to go to the gym. Right on. So there's there's Batman Mikey. I got an extra popcorn bucket. My theory had all four turtle cups when I went and had to get them. That's rad. Your favorite Foot Clan fighter? Um, I don't have a lot of Foot Clan actually. And I think someone asked about Slash. There's a, I have a Super 7 Slash there. But yeah, so I have a bunch of 2012 figures like hanging up. Like Fish Face. Yeah, I do have, I have the Toxie. The Toxie is dope. Fish Face is fun. We got a Casey. The bubble on Casey is like separating off, but <sighs> I got a dust more. Got the cool mask. The last Ronin. Um, there's a foot soldier. If somebody is wondering about the foot soldier, I mean, there's a few. The last Ronin, last Ronin, Mikey, technically hasn't come out yet. Like the actual Mikey, but I do, of course, have the Ronin. Would you save a person from dying or save your collection? Uh, depends on the person, I guess. Are you getting the NECA layer? <sighs> Probably not. Um, yeah, probably not. I don't. I just don't have a lot of tune figures. I really only the only tune figures I really have are Splinter. And Baxter, so... If your house was on fire, what figure are you saving? Hunchback Leo. The first figure ever, I don't really remember. The van, yeah, I'm getting the Super 7 Turtle van, actually. So I have that coming. Yeah, the lair, once you get it... So I have, like, the old school lair... It's just, yeah, this shit, obviously, it takes up a lot of space, as you can see. You know, you just run out of space real, real quick. So, yeah, that's, I had that's, this one from when I was a kid. So, it's pretty fun. Any of the 2012 vehicles? No. I generally skip out on the vehicles, again, just because they take up so much space, you know? It's kind of, it's just kind of too much. Do you have 2012 Raphael? Yeah, I, like, have them all. They're just kind of like a pain in the ass to get. So he's there. He's, he's behind there, hidden away. I grabbed the re-release. Yeah, I do have the re-release van, actually. I, I did get that. There's Raph. Movie star figures? Uh, I mean, technically, I have... I have like the actual vintage raft. 
even with some of his old accessories. And I have I have the new like movie star Leo. Favorite 2012 series fig. Hmm, I don't know. Probably the probably like the monster figures. Your dream figure. Um probably like um Raphael as the Metaluna mutant. Probably. Mm, loot crate. Um, I do have technically. I don't have any of the of the like Bay movie figures. No. Um, okay, they fell. It's fine. I do have. I do have Claw Shredder. Mutant Mayhem Leo. Not really a lot of Marvel. Do you have Halloween figures? I mean, I have like the monsters, the monsters. But yeah, I do have Claw Shredder from Loot Crate. I think that's the only like Loot Crate figure I got. I ordered it. You could buy it from like eBay for like 70 bucks. No Revolt Tech. Jason? No, oh, it's Casey. Casey is the Phantom. The Armored Leo? Which one's the Armored Leo? Leo disguised. No disguised figures. 2004 figures. Not really. Dream with robotic arms. Oh, the, the Gundam Leo. Look at all those figures. Where the fuck? Oh, no. He's not busted, though, folks. He's fine. I don't have any of the 2014 or 2016 figures, no. But Robo Leo, I got I got mine from Show Z store. The Show Z store. Um No Revolt Tech. Can you see Last Ronin? Yeah, so here is here's a Sinjabot. Which, this is one of my favorite figures of this year. This Sinjabot is just cool. Crank? Are you going to post this on your YouTube? Yeah. I'm sure I will. Because usually I like to go back and do like... Show it for this figure. And then people can see like the whole collection tour again. Do you have the big 2012 Leo costume statue? No, but that would be cool. That would be super fun. But I do not. The Ronin figures are up here. Technically, yes. I put Mummy Mikey on one of them. But like I even have like the Playmates Ronin variant. Cody, do a shout out for me on the YouTube. <sighs> well, uh, I'll think about it. It's a lot. I have to, you know. Have you ever fallen asleep in that room? <laughs> I mean, I fall asleep all the time, so there's probably not a room that I've been in that I haven't also fallen asleep in. Um, I think both are cool. Do you have the silver Leonardo? No, but I, I probably think the armored Ronin is the best. What's the OG toy? What do you mean the OG toy? That? I mean, I'm already in almost all your videos. Yeah, but TikTok, re TikTok recordings don't save the chat. So, you know, I could shout you out. I could say your name and it'll be on the live. But what if I don't say your name and people just don't know it's you? I don't know which is my oldest. I don't really catalog stuff like that, but... They're cool. And then I have some... <laughs> You say my name every time I join the live. I mean, that's true. Big Turtle. What if I call you Big Turtle? The Good Smile statues. Those are really, really cool. Um, I have some of the minifigures, and I have the DVD minifigures. Can you say thank you, Rico Tack? I mean, technically, I can say it, yeah. Big Turt. <laughs> There we go. You got all of them? Yeah, because I, I got I got the whole DVD set back in the day. 
Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the weights, Andre. I do I do need I do need to hit the weights. Say thank you, big turt. Thank you, big lizard boy. Superfly is there. That's Superfly. Do I have NECA Shredder? Uh, I have their battle damage shredder. That's the only one I have. If we go back over to this NECA wall. I mean, I mean, technically I have, I have like the clone shredder. But yeah, I have the, the battle damage shredder. Do you have the McDonald open shells turtle? You mean the storage shell turtles? Um... I do have some storage shell turtles, but they're not McDonald's turtles. Yeah, the Shredder clones are cool. And like the little baby one. But yeah, Tiny Turt. I guess I could say Tiny Turt, but my rarest fig. What Shredder was that? That's that's the battle damage Shredder. It's like the Mirage Shredder you can get. See, he's like fighting off Veteran William. It's all slashed up by his ferocious claws. No, I don't have the Battle Shell from the 2012 series. Those are really cool. Any baby turtles? Um, I have like the Playmates. Mutant Mayhem ones. Yeah, Veteran William is incredible. One of the coolest figures of all time, for sure. Your most expensive figure? Probably Leo. Hunt, uh, Mecha Leo. The Pizza Delivery Boy? House Tour? <laughs> <laughs> the the rest of the house is is boring, I assure you. So look, there's Fugitoid. Let's give it up for Fugitoid. Are you getting that Tiger one? I do have the Tiger one actually. Um I just haven't I haven't made more videos from him cuz he's kind of a pain in the ass, frankly. But if we go down here, folks, I have a bunch of crap all stacked over. This is the this is technically the turntable I got, right? Favorite turtle is Mikey. I have an extra ultimate foot ninja. But there is the tiger man. Save a random human from dying or every single team and T item on earth. I mean, I'd probably save someone from dying. And there's my, there's some of my comics, but. Yeah. Whew. I have a poster. There's some more comics too, there. Like the compendium and stuff. You can see like a mouser in there. Is that new company? Yeah, the same company. It's Maestro Union Furay Planet. Um, right there. Yeah, I have, I have, I have all of them so far. I have. This is like the, the Big Bad Toy Store variant. Super cool. Highly recommend those. How many Turtle comics do you have? Like, I have all the IDW run. And then, like, I have, I have a ton, but mostly, mostly I have, like, all the IDW stuff. And then some of the Mirage ones that are collected. Save one person from dying, but would erase the existence of Team NT. I mean, again, I guess it depends who it is, but generally, I mean, human life means more than all of this, folks, so... You know. And there is me. We're back. Do you have... I, I have... Yeah, I have all of the Veteran Williams stuff. Um, I, just, I just don't have it out at the moment. I would not save someone because they're going to die eventually. Dang. What's up, Stitch... Stitch Leo Love 23. Look, the Sinjaba arm comes out easily too, which is cool. 
Would you think a thin Sharpie would work? I mean, technically, but I think the issue with Sharpies is it the, the color yellows and stuff over time. So I, I would get like Gundam markers. Do you have TMNT figures that came with the ooze? Do you heat your figures? No, I pretty much never heat my figures. And I think, and, and part of the reason why is like a lot of my NECA figures, they're already like, they, they get loose over time anyways. How are the Transformers figs coming? They are super cool. I have the three, I have the AMK Rise of the Beast series from Yolo Park. And they're phenomenal. I really enjoy those. Is that Mikey? Yeah, it's Mikey as the Wanderer. That's kind of that's kind of a cool look. He has like a he has like a janky busted arm. What's your fave? Hunchback Leo. I think you, Yolo Park is super fun. If you do buy them, you could save 5% if you type in Cody. Um but Yolo Park is super cool. Um, I do wish they came with accessories. <sighs> Didn't you buy the unarmed and Roman figure from NECA? I do have I do have the Ronin figures. These are all NECA figures. Yeah, so if you wanted to switch the arms. I don't know. I don't necessarily think the colors look too bad. Where to buy NECA? Are they unpainted? Um Yes and no. So. Like you can see like. They there's there's a lot of there's a lot of parts on that do have the paint. They're just not necessarily fully painted everywhere, but it's a great looking figure. You know where to buy NECA. Um. One of the best places is unironically AliExpress if you're worldwide, but also like Target, Walmart. Target's one of the better places because they have more of the stuff. But yeah, so it's 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 not like it's everywhere is painted, but there's a lot of paint on it. So yeah, if you're in UK, it's it's probably probably AliExpress is your best bet. Honestly, this is Yolo Park. This is their AMK series. It's it's the Rise of the Beast Optimus. Cody, keep it Ninja Turtles? No. No, 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 no. Because these are awesome. So I have I have the Optimus Prime. And I have Optimus Primal. Isn't AliExpress bootleg? N yes and no. Only certain figures have gotten bootlegs, though. So the majority of figures haven't been bootlegged, so... You know, like if you were to order Zog from AliExpress, you're going to get Zog. Do you have NECA ALF? No ALF. ALF is kind of a creep, you know. But yeah, AliExpress is fine. Um, you just you just have to be... Is NECA Mikey bootleg? I mean, it, it depends what NECA Mikey you mean, you know. Because some figures have gotten bootlegged but others haven't. Hulk versus Venom, who wins? Ooh. I mean, wouldn't Venom just take over Hulk? And then we have Bumblebee. So the Yolo Park figures, I think, are incredible. How is the posability? I mean, of Yolo Park, fantastic posability. You know, like you just, you couldn't ask for more, really. I just think they're dope. The three zero stuff, if they don't transform. Yeah, but these ones, so these ones are only $36. So depending on your price range, it's a much more like affordable option. 
But 3-0 stuff is really cool. And then the Wanderer Mikey is very poseable too. Like he's he's great. I did. I have the Soto four. I have the. I have all the Soto figures, and I did get the Team and T three pack. Really depends if Venom has a host. Where did you get Wanderer Mikey from? Best Buy for at, for the time being. I believe he's a Best Buy exclusive. I think. I don't. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I'm pretty sure at least in in the U S. He's Best Buy exclusive. Mario versus Wolverine. Mario. Mikey has ab crunch? Not really. There's no... I mean, that's a solid piece. There's no There's no crunch there. Toys R Us? Yeah, maybe Toys R Us if you're in Canada and such, but... Yeah, so far, I think the rest of the world, um, you're kind of just, like, out of luck. Take care, Miles. Soto Vanilla Ice figures. That would be cool. Ooh. I designed and resin printed a 2-inch Ant-Man with 21 points of articulation. That's pretty impressive. Toys R Us is only in Macy's. Yeah. Yeah, we do, we do technically have like a Toys R Us department in Macy's. The only thing I don't like about these is the feet don't really go far forward enough. So you have to kind of lean the rest of his body, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Wasn't there a Hulk versus Deadpool movie? I'm pretty sure there was. I can't remember who won. But I'm pretty sure they did a movie. Well, thank you, Alfredo. I appreciate that. I'm glad you like them. Sorry, we're just putting Raph's size in order. God damn it, I can't get these to stand. Go live tomorrow? Yeah, I need to go live because we gotta play we gotta play some of Shredder's Revenge. The Does Yellow Park easily come apart when moving an arm or leg? Not really. They're pretty they're pretty solid. You know, I don't um I think they're very sturdy figures. In my experience. God, hold on. Shit, shit. I'm gonna fall. No! Oh, the Zog fucked him up. Take care, Jared. Beyond the Spider-Verse delayed months ago. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. God, his feet are fucked. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the YOLO Park stuff, I mean, if you want to pull it apart, you can. But I don't know. It, it doesn't, it doesn't like come apart at all. It's, they're solid figures. Once you put them together, they're, they're totally solid. So I think they're fantastic. Let's play some tonight. Possibly. Favorite turtle is Mikey. Mikey's the best. But yeah, love me some Lo YOLO Park. Spin those wheels. I mean, come on. Those are some cool figures. Although I had to, I have to do, I'm having to do some like crazy shit to get him to stand. Oh no. Oh no. Weather in Cali is crazy, like one minute hot, the next it's raining. Yeah, I mean that that happens. My first figure, I don't really remember the first figure. What fig is the Optimus Prime? That's YOLO Park, their AMK series. Oh, 
Oh shit! There goes there goes Sinja. He's fine though, folks. He's fine. But yeah, Yolo Park. Super cool figure. The detail is pretty incredible, and it's it's thirty six bucks. So, I don't know. I think it's just, like, super cool. Like, you can see, like, the mechanics when you're, like, doing stuff. I think it's rad. My newest figure is the Wanderer right there. I got him... Friday. Are you playing with dolls? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. Dolls are pretty cool. I have a lot of dolls. Before that, take care of Tiny Turt. Um, before that, I think, was technically like the Loyal Subjects Raff. If, yeah, I think so. I'm trying to remember, but yeah, I think, I think chronologically. He's a little fucked, too. But yeah, super cool figure. I don't know. Super pleased. I do like the, the, the threaded chucks. Cody, do a dance. No dancing. No dancing allowed. I do wish the Wanderer, like, he can hold the swords, of course. But I do think, I wish he had, like, another belt or something to hold... Like the other things. That would be cool. And I do wish the Chucks had like a longer string. I collect mostly Star Wars Legos, but I do have one Lego Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I had some. I wish they would make more Ninja Turtle Legos. That would be cool. But sadly, they don't. Yeah, IDW... Ooh, fuck. He's fine, though. He's fine. <laughs> Ooh, Pardon got demolished. Oh, I was gonna... I need to show you guys something. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Pardon sent me some of his stickers. Yeah, Meg I think Megablox currently makes Team and T stuff. Am I sweaty enough for that to stick on my head? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since um they they made the Team and T Lego. I think it stopped right around like Probably the 2012 series and the Michael Bay movies. But yeah, see, Pardon gave me a Pardon My Nerd sticker. He gave me a, he sent me a bunch, actually. I guess I should put one of them on my, like, accessories. It's kind of frightening how well they stick to your forehead, just being sweaty. But yeah, this, if anybody's wander, wandering... That figure, Mikey as the Wanderer. Yeah, pretty dope. Pretty dope stuff. I assume he sells these stickers, probably. But he, he, he loved my forehead sticker so much that he sent me some, and so, yeah. I think this is the first live I've done since I received them. Maybe. Let's see your muscles. Um, I don't really have many muscles these days. I'm pretty... 
I've gotten pretty lazy and, and I don't really exercise a ton. So when it comes to muscles, yeah, not, not a lot of muscles. Yeah, I think the, the movie is fantastic. I'm waiting for like the DVD Blu-ray release. Um, but you can you can watch it now. This is this is the wander. See, yeah, the leg. I don't like the feet. At the end, they got accepted. My favorite Team and T game is uh, Team and T Three Radical Rescue for the Game Boy. That's that's the that's legit the best one. No no joke. No lying. There, there's not a better one than that. Do you play on Xbox? Yes. You know what game I was playing today? I was playing some, um, what about Turtles in Time? Turtles in Time is good. Um, I just think Radical Rescue is just super good. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Shredder's Revenge, Dimensional Shell Shock. I was playing that. You're cosplaying the Shredder for Rhode Island Comic Con? Right on. That's super cool. Yeah, I was I was playing some Shredder's Revenge. I was playing some Starfield. Starfield is super fun. My favorite figure is Hunchback Leo. The greatest figure of all time. Just it is what it is. I don't I don't necessarily make the rules. It just is the rules, you know? You can't once they made Hunchback Leo, you're supposed to wait. No, look, you, you know what I got with Starfield? Look, check this out. Check out this package. Look, 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 look. So I have Game Pass, and so I got the Premium Upgrade Edition from Best Buy. So, so they sent me one month of Game Pass, so that's a $17 value just by itself. Right? And so you get the cool, you get the cool steel book. You get a cool patch, and you get like the expansion DLC, the Shattered Space thing. So honestly, I think it's a pretty good deal to be able to play it early. Like who doesn't? Who doesn't love a cool steel book? Come on, you're using a fan, a face mask from Mortal Kombat. Smart. That's pretty smart. Yeah, Starfield is really cool so far. Uh, Shredder's Revenge, uh, Dimensional Shell Shock is really cool too. Karai, Karai is an awesome character. Yeah, look at look at Mikey as the Wanderer there. And then you played Shredder's Revenge, yeah. Every time I do this, I realize like the shape of my forehead is weird because you can really like you can really feel your own forehead through the thing. Yeah. So there's, there's that. Maybe tonight, maybe later tonight, I'll play some Shredder's Revenge on live. Cody R. Old? <laughs> it's, tr it's true. A new Dark Team and T game? Yeah, there's a, there's a Last Ronin game. And Moldy? I'm not Moldy yet, but I am old. Yeah, they're making a Last Ronin game, which is that's the that's the Dark Team and T game they're talking about. Um, it's like THQ is the publisher, and it's like Black Forest is making the game itself, the Last Ronin game. Ah, oh, shit! My phone, folks, is actually gonna die. Um, I didn't realize that, so I'll have to end the live. But thanks for joining me on this live. This is sponsored by pardon my nerd no not really he gave me he gave me his stickers though it's not going to be dark i mean maybe but yeah thanks for hanging out with me folks it's been super fun showing you all a bunch of my collection and the toys always fun to hang out love you all take care hope you have a great saturday a great weekend yeah sorry my phone was is just about to die and i didn't realize it
So yeah, stare into the eyes of Mikey the Wanderer. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Bye.